How long does it take to get to? Space trips are one of the popular human dreams. Imagine that human technologies allow us to move with a speed of light 186,282 miles per second. Where can we go and how fast? Do you want to know it? So sit down and listen. We start. Get to the planets of the solar system with the speed of light. If we suppose that we can move almost at the speed of light, how fast can we get to the different parts of the known space? And what to do at that time? Moon. 238,900 miles, 1.28 seconds. You will not have another time to do anything. Just blink and you are on moon. Venus, 27,900,000 miles, 2.5 minutes. Your kettle with water for tea will not even boil. Mars, 46,500,000 miles, 4.16 minutes. Enough time to make tea, but not to drink it. Mercury, 56,200,000 miles, 5.03 minutes. Maybe you will read a sheet of magazine or two. Sun, 92,960,000, 8.31 minutes. Relax, drink your coffee or tea and read your magazine. Jupiter, 390,600,000 miles, 34.95 minutes. Series of house or friends? Enough time for that. Saturn, 790,500,000 miles, 70.73 minutes. Go to sleep, you need to relax. Uranus, 1,692,600,000 miles, 2.52 hours. Well, appropriate time to rewatch Titanic or one part of The Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit or Star Wars. Neptune, 2,697,000,000 miles, 4.02 hours. Try yourselves in the art. Start painting, writing novels, or creating something else. Pluto, 3,534,000,000 miles, 5.27 hours. Eat, drink, sleep, read. When will you again have time for rest? Proxima Centauri, 24 trillion 940 billion miles, 4.25 years. You have enough time to do a lot of things. Learn, create, marry, give birth to children, and worry about nothing. The Andromeda Galaxy, 1.492 times 10 to the power of 19 miles, 6.095 times 10 to the power of seven years, almost the same period of time that is from the extinction of dinosaurs. The end of the known universe, 2.7 times 10 to the power of 23 miles, 11.03 times 10 to the power of 11 years. It is much more than the galaxy itself exists. Get to the planets with common speed. All the available methods for space trips are still very limited when it comes to transit time. So unless we make a major breakthrough in the realms of fusion, antimatter, or laser technology, we will either have to be content with exploring our own solar system or be forced to accept a very long-term transit strategy. How long does it take us to get to the planets with common speed? Let's see. One, Mercury, 6.5 years, Messenger. Astronauts did their first flyby of Mercury in the 1970s and it took something like 147 days to get there. But if you want to actually travel there, you need to slow down to its orbital speed, which takes some serious time. 2. Venus, 15 months, Magellan. Despite Venus being our next door neighbor, it's still 25 million miles at its closest and 162 million miles at its farthest. Fortunately, no one wants to go there because it's super gross. 3. Moon, 3 days, Apollo 11. Astronauts have done this before. Unless we get a rocket more powerful than the Saturn V, which would be extremely impressive, it's going to take 3 days. Which is fine, it's the moon. Also, yes, we know it's not technically a planet. 4. Mars, 7 months, Opportunity. 
astronauts have sent a few rovers over, and travel time has depended on where they were with their orbit compared to Mars. They've done seven months, but it can take considerably longer if cycles aren't aligned. Mars is far, and if a pair of the astronauts enjoyed themselves a little too much, the spacecraft we send could land with one extra. 5. Jupiter, 6 years, Galileo We're never going to travel to Jupiter because, well, it's mostly made of gas. However, we may travel to Europa, one of its moons. Travel time to Jupiter takes around 6 years, and astronauts have done it the hard way using the Earth's gravity to slingshot the Galileo probe twice to make the trip. You have to resort to some cool sorcery when you don't have an extra rocket booster. 6. Saturn 7 years Cassini Cassini took the better part of a decade to make the trip, launching in 1997 and landing in 2004. It saw most of the planets in between and used Jupiter's gravity to make the final push. Interestingly, it wasn't alone and carried the Huygens lander, which successfully landed on Saturn's moon, Titan. That's completely mind-blowing. Cassini is still active after 17 years. 7. Uranus, 8.5 years, Voyager Voyager made the trip in a little under a decade. However, it kept going and is long out of our solar system. And you thought the trip to Uranus was just a zipper away! 8. Neptune, Voyager. Want to go to Neptune? It'll take 12 years. Fortunately, there's no good reason anyone would want to go there. 10. Pluto, 9.5 years, New Horizons. A probe we launched in 2006 made its closest pass by Pluto on July 14, 2015. It's nice that someone's still paying attention to the little dwarf out there. So, in order to get to the end of our solar system, we should spend in space 40 years. And it takes us 80,000 years to get to the nearest star. The closest star to our solar system is Proxima Centauri, which is why it makes the most sense to plot an interstellar mission to this system first. To go further and get to the nearest galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy, it will take us 749 million years. In very, very fantastic dreams, some of us think how it would be to get to the end of the known universe. And scientists have the theoretical answer. It will take 225 trillion years to get there. The reality is as follows. We still can't break the speed filter. What should we do now? How to get to other planets if it takes so long? Who knows? Maybe tomorrow scientists will find the way. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and have a nice day. We will keep you up to date.